Hi everybody and welcome back to Danielle Ability. This past weekend I had the opportunity to model at a fashion show with Runway of Dreams at Indiana University and I thought it'd be really fun to just kind of tell you guys about the experience. It was super fun. I met some really amazing people and I just thought it'd be fun to show you the clothes that I got. We actually all got to keep the clothes that we modeled and what makes them adaptive and just kind of give you guys an idea of what adaptive clothing looks like and ways that it's different from your standard clothes and really how easy it would be for companies to make clothing that is adaptive. There's really not a whole lot that is different or crazy about it, but there's just a few little tweaks here and there that make it so much easier for people with disabilities. So let's go ahead and get started. I got to model a winter coat and a pair of leggings. First, I'm gonna show you the leggings. They're great, they're just basic black leggings are a little bit wrinkled now. They are high-waisted, which is really nice because when you're sitting, it's a lot more comfortable to have something that's high-waisted that you don't feel like is just falling down all the time or you're constantly having to pull them up or whatever. So any high-waisted pants are definitely a win. Another thing that's great about these is they're stretchy. So they're an elastic waist. Um, they have pockets, which is awesome and just in general they're great leggings they you know they're long and they have these cute little cutouts at the bottom and just overall they were super comfortable it's like a let's see what kind of material they're rayon nylon and spandex so if you've seen my other video where i talk about other kinds of fabric that work well for a seated body type you know that anything that has nylon or spandex in it is great because it's super comfortable and it's flexible it moves around with you and it's just really great so these were awesome and very comfortable the other thing that i got is this coat which is incredible i'm gonna put it on for you guys so that you can see what it looks like so this is the coat that i modeled and it's really awesome because it looks like a full length or you know a little below the knee length coat but it's actually not so the front is but then the back only goes to right here so as you can see it's tapered like that so that it's easier to get on and off you're not sitting on a bunch of fabric and it's super comfortable. Another thing I really love about it is the cuffs at the wrist are a little bit tighter so that's gonna keep your arms a lot warmer and you're not gonna have to worry about your sleeves moving around a bunch when you're wheeling which is great. Um, it has a nice velcro closure on top of the zipper which is easy to open and close and you know the zipper is really easy and everything. The hood is great and it's also removable which is cool and it's made of a great fabric that um, it's gonna be easy to wipe off if I get you know anything on it from my chair as I'm transferring it in and out it's easy to just wipe that right off and the pockets are in the front like this instead of on the sides so I can easily put my hands in if my hands get cold and I'm not, you know, trying to squeeze them in on the sides, which is great. And so there's that. And there's also pockets here, which is cool. So yeah, overall, it's just a really cool coat. And I, it's stylish too, which is cool. A lot of times when I've seen adaptive clothing in the past, it's kind of frumpy or just I don't know, not very sleek and stylish. And I feel like this is a coat that I would see anybody wearing, um, but it just so happens that it's made with my kind of body type in mind. The thing that is so cool about this coat and that just meant a lot to me with modeling it is I've never really worn a piece of clothing before that was made with someone like me in mind. 
And it was just really cool to be wearing something that was made for my body type. It's so comfortable, it fits perfectly. And it was just really exciting to be able to be in this show where there's all these clothes made for people like me or other people with disabilities in mind. And I just think it's really awesome that we got to keep the clothes that we modeled. That just goes to show they're wanting these clothes to be worn by the people they're meant for. So super thankful for that. I've been needing a new winter coat and been having a hard time finding one. So it's just great to be able to have this and be able to tell people about it. All the clothes came from Zappos Adaptive, which is an incredible, I guess you'd call a subdivision of Zappos. And all the people who work there are so awesome. I got to meet and interact with a couple of them and had the best time with them. They're super sweet. And it's interesting because the people that I met are not in wheelchairs, but they just seem to understand and get what you're going for and the things that are needed and they just have a lot of knowledge about the industry and things that will work for people with disabilities and whether that's someone who's a seated person or whether they have trouble with dexterity and getting clothes on and off they just have a ton of knowledge about how to make those things easier and it was just really cool to see and exciting to meet people that are as passionate about adaptive fashion as I am and just get to spend time with them. So that was really cool. And the other thing that I wanted to show you guys was some of the swag that I got as a model. It was really fun to get to take some things home. So it all came in this really cool Runway of Dreams bag, which is awesome. I love bags like this. And it also came with another bag. It's more of a drawstring backpack. Um, which actually came from the university. And I got this cool Zappos Adaptive little um, credit card holder for my phone, a little Zappos Adaptive pin, and Zappos Adaptive hand sanitizer carrier. And we all got wireless speakers, which was super cool. I will definitely be using this. Um, so I was really excited about that. And the last thing I got was this lip gloss, which I wanted to, or I guess it's a matte, lipstick it's a liquid lipstick and i wanted to read to you guys about the company that does these it's called i am adaptable and the back says misty's story whether it's climbing mountains during a spartan race or walking a 10k real her i am adaptive matte lipstick was created to give a little bit of courage to anyone who wears it Creator Misty Diaz became a runner in 2014 and wearing red lipstick during races made her feel strong, gave her confidence, and brought out her inner warrior. Anything is possible when you're adaptable. A portion of the proceeds for each lipstick is donated to Challenged Athletes Foundation. So I thought that was really cool. It's another adaptive company and it was neat to just see that they're supporting each other and you know providing that for all the models. I also just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Runway of Dreams Foundation. Um, their founder, Mindy, is amazing. She was there at the show and just super sweet. And it was just cool to see an organization that cares so much about providing fashion options for people with disabilities and how that all got started. The whole experience was really cool. And I got to, like I said, meet some really incredible people and just loved the whole experience overall. I hope to do more of that kind of thing in the future. Um, hopefully some more opportunities will come my way and I'll keep you guys posted, but just thought I would share that with you. And yeah, hope you found that interesting and I will see you guys next time.